Okay, in this video, we are going to take a look at the concept of broadcast. Uh, it's a code and a set of code blocks that allow one sprite to make other sprites react. And this is really great for use when you need to have something in your scene or in your project react to something else that's going on in the scene. And so in this case, you'll see that when I pick up the wand, the guitar starts to shake, the book starts to change color, and the ball starts to go in circles. And then when I let go of the wand, everything just gets reset back to normal. So I'm actually using two broadcast, um, two broadcast strategies in this, in this project. So let's take a look. The one, first thing I want you to notice is that um, under the guitar, uh, when uh, well, let's take a look at the wand first. So when the wand uh, gets picked up, it's going to send this broadcast here. So when this sprite is clicked, broadcast magic hour. Now broadcast is found under the events, and when the broadcast is brought out, you can select the the one that's just called. I think it's the the default is just called uh, broadcast or something, but you can create a new message which gives you the option of creating more broadcasts. So in this case, I actually created a new message and I called it Magic Hour. Okay, so once I create Magic Hour, the uh, other blocks that are for broadcast will match that um, that new broadcast message. Okay, so. I have Magic Hour created, and I'm saying when I click on the wand, set the broadcast Magic Hour into action. All right. So then I can go to my guitar, and I can say I can pull out this one when I receive Magic Hour. All right. So when I get Magic Hour, what do you want me to do? And in this case, for the guitar, I just want it to switch between two different costumes to make it look like it's shaking. All right. With the book, when I receive Magic Hour. I want it to change its color effect by about 10%. So again, here it goes, and there's the book. And then finally, the small little ball inside the jar. When I receive magic hour, I want it to turn 15 degrees. And the way I managed this one was I put the costume, I put the ball off center, and so when it turns 15 degrees, it actually goes into a circle like that. If I had put the ball in the center and turn 15 degrees, it wouldn't look very different when it's turning. But doing it this way allows it to go around the center. Okay? So that's great when I'm holding the wand. But if I release the wand, I want it to do something else. So I have to send a second broadcast. So I'm going to go back to the wand. And notice here when I have the mouse down, it's doing all of these, uh, these effects here. And I'll probably co cover this stuff in another video. But when I release the mouse, um, it's going to send a broadcast. First of all, the wand's going to go back to its normal position on the table. And then it's going to send a broadcast, stop magic hour. So that was just another one that I created, right? And then in these uh, sprites, I pulled out this and switched it to stop magic hour. So I'm picking that second broadcast. And I'm just telling this one to return to its original costume. In the book, I'm telling it to just clear all the graphic effects that I put on it. And for the ball, I'm just telling it to um, stop other scripts in this uh, in this sprite. Okay, so go back to its regular position, and then just stop the mo the motion that's going on. All right, and that's um, that's a pretty simple explanation for broadcasts. But keep in mind, you can use it to do things like, you know, when a sprite gets to a certain point on the screen, change the background. So if you're going from scene to scene, for example. Or if you're having two sprites talk to each other, one can say something and then send a broadcast. And then when the other sprite receives that broadcast, it can say something. So you can use broadcasts in many different ways. Um, they're extremely helpful for getting uh, sprites to interact with each other without necessarily having to come in contact with each other. Okay, and that's all for broadcasts.